Hey guys, this is Shubhrajit from Digit.in and we got our hands on the Huawei Mate X. It's the company's first foldable phone that along with the Samsung Galaxy Fold ushered in a new era in smartphone design. Huawei launched the Mate X at MWC 2019 and it unfolds into an 8-inch tablet and even has a 5G modem inside. Now we got our hands on the Huawei Mate X and trembling as they were, we used it for a bit and saw the phone from up close, enough to understand what foldable phones have to offer. While we were allowed to use the phone, ironically, Huawei didn't allow us to fold and unfold the device. The spokesperson present did the hinge work, while we used it to play games, multitask and click a few photos. Also do note that Huawei still hasn't disclosed the camera specs of the Huawei Mate X, but we do know that it's a triple camera setup made in collaboration with Leica. First thing we noticed about the Huawei Mate X is that it's quite sleek. The camera sensors and the 5G antennas are all housed in one column on the edge. The Huawei Mate X folds till the raised edge and closes using magnetic clamps. You open the phone using a button. Now the next thing you notice is the screen on the phone. Huawei has used an 8-inch 2K display that folds to become a 4-inch phone. It's quite bright and vibrant, but it also felt quite glossy because of the plastic nature of the flexible display. There's also a 6.6-inch AMOLED panel on the outside. And now it did feel quite heavy when it was in the phone mode since it packs two batteries inside but when unfolded it was surprisingly light. Essentially the Huawei Mate X is heavier than your average flagship phone but much lighter than a tablet. Now we did notice a crease in the middle but Huawei said this wasn't the final product and the commercial variant will not have a crease. Now more interesting was the hinge that Huawei used in the Mate X. The company calls it the Falcon Wing and it has over 100 components inside that align together to fold and unfold the device. You can keep it folded, semi-folded and when it's completely folded, there's no gap between the ends. Now under the hood is a Kirin 980 chipset combined with the Balong 5000 5G modem. Huawei said that its 5G modem was two times faster than the Snapdragon X50 5G modem when using sub 6 GHz bands. There's 8 GB of RAM to boot along with 512 GB of storage, which can be further expandable. So we used the Mate X to play Real Racing 3 and the experience was quite good. There was hardly any drop in frame rates and the game ran quite smooth. Now, the form factor was also quite helpful. We also uh, used the camera while in tablet mode to see just how wide the viewfinder is and it is quite wide as a matter of fact. And then we finally used it to multitask. We kept a Chrome tab open on the left while on the right there was a YouTube video playing and it was all done very seamlessly which indicates that Huawei has worked on its UI to adapt to the foldable nature of the phone. Now the Mate X also comes bundled with its own protective case and a 55 watt supercharger which charges the phone to 80% in 30 minutes. Huawei didn't say that when the phone will be available in India but they did mention the phone uh, will launch in about 2-3 to three weeks after it's available internationally. The Mate X is priced at 2,299 euros in Europe, which comes to at around like 1.85 lakh rupees. Um, now it certainly remains to be seen what the price of the phone will be when it launches in India. But using the Huawei Mate X for a while, we did see the benefits of having a phone that unfolds into something bigger. But is it really the next best thing? Well, we're going to reserve a verdict on that one. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video guys. That's all that we had to share about the Huawei Mate X. Let us know what you thought about this futuristic smartphone in the comment section below. And for more videos like this, do subscribe to digit.in.